Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1 Beta 1 for your iPhone 4, 3GS, and your iPod Touch 4th generation. Now Apple seeded 6.1 to developers, and if you are a developer or have your UDID registered, then you will be able to jailbreak 6.1 on those three devices. First off, make sure your device is on iOS 6.1. You can find this by going into Settings, General, About, and then the bottom you should see the version number of 6.1. Next, make sure you have the latest version of Red Snow. Links will be in the description below. And then we want to go ahead and put our device into DFU mode. So to do this, make sure you hold the top and the bottom for 10 seconds. And then once that 10 seconds has gone up, you can let go of the power, keeping the home button held down for an additional 5 to 8 more seconds. If iTunes does pop up, you can easily just close out of it since we will be working with Red Snow. Open up Red Snow here and make sure that your device is connected and that it is recognized that it is in DFU mode. Then you want to go to Extras and select your IPSW. Now, for this case, we will have to select our iOS 6.0 and not the iOS 6.1 firmware and make sure that it has been identified successfully. And then you can go back and hit Jailbreak. In Red Snow, you will have the option to install Cydia, so you can go ahead and click Next, and it will be exploding with the Lime Rain jailbreak process here. It will be uploading the first and second stages, and then waiting for a reboot, and on your device here, you should see the exploit begin to work here, so the downloading of the jailbreak data will appear, and then you should see a bunch of lines of code. Now bear in mind this jailbreak for this device is currently tethered so this means that in order to make use of the jailbreak programs or use like Safari you will have to use the just boots option within Red Snow so you do gain full control of your iOS device. After this process has been done we will have to perform a just boot tethered option in Red Snow for Cydia to actually be installed on our iOS device. And like I said before, this does work for the iPhone 4, 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4th generation, so any A4 devices. Next, you will see the Pineapple logo up here. It will be installing the bundles here, and then your device will be rebooting. Once your device has rebooted, we will have to perform a Just Boot Tethered option for Cydia to complete its process. So go ahead and put your device back into DFU mode by holding the top and the bottom buttons here for about 10 seconds and then once that 10 seconds has gone up you can let go of the power keeping the home button down for an additional 5 to 8 more seconds on your computer here you want to make sure that it is connected and that it is in DFU mode and then you want to go to extras and select your IPSW firmware of the 6.0 not the 6.1 and then once it has been identified, we want to go ahead and select the Just Boot method here. And it will exploit with the Lime Rain jailbreak data here, uploading the first and second stage. And then it will be waiting for a reboot. And then on your device, you should see the little pineapple logo appearing any second now. It will be patching the kernel, and we should be good to go then. Once your device has rebooted, you can go ahead and slide to unlock, and we should see Cydia now installed on our iOS 6.1 jailbroken device. You can go ahead and say who you are, and you will have a fully functional Cydia on your iOS 6.1 Beta 1 jailbroken device. If you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.